Hello there again everybody, Boyd back with you again and welcome back to our Polar Lights 350 scale classic enterprise buildup that we're doing for John. This is part five. Uh, first off guys, I'll start off by apologizing for the background noise. I've got the air conditioner on today. It's about 100 degrees outside so it's getting really toasty here in the shop so I've got to cool it off a little bit while I'm working but uh, hopefully we can work our way through it. Uh, what you see in front of you here today is the uh, completed shuttle bay. Uh, I've gone back now and um, done all my light blocking on this and installed the rest of my lighting. I'll show you what I've done here. I've got another SMD that I added uh, here at the rear that will be directly above the uh, shuttle bay doors for that little lighted pod area that you guys are familiar with on the back of the ship just above the shuttle bay doors. I've got two SMDs here uh, for the uh, ceiling lighting that I showed you guys in the last video. And then I've added one more here on each side uh, to light the side windows and also light the exterior windows at the rear of the ship and that's going to work out very well. I've got one more SMD that's actually mounted inside the hull itself that will shine uh, up here to light up these uh, windows in the uh, rear part of the shuttle bay. So we're good to go on this. Uh, it's Like I said, it's all been light blocked. I painted the outside of this white so that we'll reflect our light around in here and get, get all of our external windows lit. And we're going to show that to you in just a little while here. We're going to install this today. Over here at the spray booth area, I've got uh, some uh, more painting work done on the uh, secondary hull here. And I'm getting ready to spray the outside of this now. I've got a couple more wires I've got to install in this uh, for power that we need to get up here to the uh, uh, nacelles for the uh, Bassard collector power. And we've got to have some that comes out the bottom here that'll go to our base and some that goes out the top to our uh, up through the neck and so we can light the neck and up and the power uh, that goes inside to power the board that'll be mounted in the uh, saucer and our saucer lighting and our navigation lights. So I'm just doing a little bit more electrical work on this. I've got to install the uh, LEDs that go here, which I think they're called the ion pods, the little ones that flash at the rear. And here you can see I've got an SMD mounted on the bottom of this underneath of the shuttle bay that will light up the little lights on the fan tail there. Uh, so things are looking pretty good. I'm going to touch this up a little bit now and uh, finish my wiring on it and then we're going to come back and we're going to mix up some paint and we'll show you how we do that and get this ready to be sprayed on the outside. Once we get that all done this will be ready to seal up. We'll install the shuttle bay and uh, go on from there. So we'll be back with that in just a second here guys and we'll see you then. Stay tuned. So here we are everybody, we're over at the uh, spray area and I'm mixing up my paint now for this. And uh, you can see what I'm starting off here is I'm starting off with some regular white that I have and I'm going to be starting to add some uh, black. And what we want to do is just start off real gradual here and put a couple of drops in each one. And then we're going to start making our basic shade of gray here which is just white and black mixed together. And we're just going to keep stirring these and stirring these and stirring these until I get the shade that I'm looking for. I don't want to be uh, too dark. I don't, uh, I, want, I don't want the ship to look a battleship gray or anything like that. I just want to give it a nice off-white look. And uh, you can see that we've already started to darken this right up just by mixing this in. And I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is after I uh, get these two fairly close, I'm going to uh, then combine these both into a you know a, the same cup so that uh, they'll mix together and we'll have a perfectly balanced color between the both of them so what I'm doing right now is just kind of mixing them to get them a little bit close so I'm just gonna add a little bit more black into this now I'm almost there already on as far as how dark I want it to be and this is the exact same color that I did on my uh, my first build that I did uh, back in November for the second pilot edition I matched this color to the uh, uh, Master Replicas version of the Enterprise, which I think they did a nice job on it. I really thought the color on it looked just right, so I'm, I'm going with that. You can talk about colors of the Enterprise until you're blue in the face, guys. There's been so much debate about that, so what I tend to do is just kind of paint them what looks good to my own eye. I know that they mentioned that the ship was sort of a, um, a green color in the... Uh, uh, on the original television series and it just doesn't show on the film but I just don't like how that looks in person so I'm gonna do a little bit of a different like I said matching it to the Master Replicas Enterprise which I kinda like so okay you can see here that what I've got now is I've got a uh, basic shade of gray and when you mix uh, uh, straight gray and or I mean straight black and straight white together your gray tends to look a little bit blue 
So to cancel that out, what I like to use is a little bit of brown here, and you don't need very much of this. Uh, you can go with a brown or a dark tan. And what that's going to do is give this more of an earth tone kind of a color, kind of a slate gray instead of a uh, that bluish gray look that I don't really care for. Uh, and you can see it's starting to change it already. Uh, it's coming around a little bit. And you just want to, again, with your paint, you just want to add a little bit at a time, guys. You don't want to go overboard because if you go too far on this, you'll ruin this batch of paint and you won't be able to get it back. So just go a little bit at a time and be patient. Like I said, you can see here I'm just putting a couple of drops of this stuff at a time in. And uh, we're going to start bringing it around here. It's coming around nicely. As you can see, it definitely took that... Um, it took that blue edge off of it to where it's it's not the blue looking gray anymore and it gave it a much more kind of an earth tone like I said gray and uh, that's what we're gonna go with guys I really like this shade right here that's basically it so what I'll do now is I've got uh, another cup here and I'll be pouring both of those into that cup so that we get a mixture and I should wind up with two full cups of this when I'm done plus I'll get a little bit more when I reduce it and the reduction on this, guys, is, is about 3 to 4 to 1, so you're going to get a lot more volume. And I, like I said, I want to, um, I want to be able to um, have plenty of paint left over for this, too, so that if I have to do any touch-ups or anything like that, I'll be, I'll be all set. And you can see that what we're getting now is uh, both of these colors look exactly the same. And... Uh, there's not much to uh, show you guys as far as reducing it, guys. Like I said, you might want to get, if you're, you know, I'm used to doing this by eye, but if you're not used to it, get yourself a, a little uh, mixing cup, and it'll show your, uh, on the sides of the cup, it'll have your, uh, your mixture ratio, so you can basically put one part in and then three parts, one part paint, three parts uh, reducer, or uh, four parts reducer, whatever the ratio calls for, but right around three or four to one is how I reduce this paint and, and basically thin it out. Because you can see in, in this form right now, it's obviously way too thick to spray it through your gun. And uh, the reducer also is a drying agent that helps the paint dry, is also uh, as well as making it thinned out, guys. So, all right, guys, well, that's our paint set up for this. I'm going to go ahead now and uh, get the model back over here and get the gun ready to go. And we're going to spray down the outside of the hull here and a couple other pieces that I've got ready to spray. And we'll move forward with that. So we'll be back in just a second, guys, and we'll show you that. Well, hey there again, everybody. We're back now. As you can see, we made it out of the spray booth. No issues to report. Everything went down really good. We've got our primary color now sprayed on the uh, secondary hull here, and you can see it turned out baby smooth. That's our Cosmic Colors paint working for us, guys. It's really good stuff. And uh, you can see we've got our deflector housing there in the bottom mount piece there painted. Now, I haven't glued the uh, secondary hull together yet because uh, that uh, deflector housing part has to be installed in one half before you put it together it's really really hard to cram it in there I found that out on the first model that I did back in November uh, but uh, so we'll get that put in I just wanted to walk you around it here you can see I've started to put some of my window inserts in I've got the blacked out ones there at the center of the secondary hull like it has on the regular production version of the ship and you can see I have put my window grouping in here at the back we've got I'm happy to report we've got light coming through there this time guys the windows are actually lit up now the one at the very rear isn't because that's actually done in green like it was again on the production ship but I'll swing around here on the other side and you can see we've got light coming through these as well so I'm really happy with that and that's with the shuttle bay in there and everything all sealed up now you can see uh, the shuttle bay looks really nice now too uh, I've got this running at 12 volts now uh, it was only running at 9 before so it looked a little yellow and a little dim in the last video but doesn't that uh, lighting in there look really nice and bright and you can see every little detail in there I'm really happy with that and uh, it just turned out perfect. You can see the light coming out of the shuttle there, the door, and uh, uh, so the windows in the back are lighting up nice and brightly. It really looks beautiful, so I'm really happy with that. And uh, things are going great here, guys. Um, what I'll be doing now, I don't have the uh, the strobe lights uh, put in here at the bottom yet. Uh, that's these uh, little guys right here that uh, come with the kit. Now there's these little brackets or these little inserts that need to go in there, and I'll put those in. We'll light block this area around here so that... Uh, 
this light when it flashes won't be uh, lighting up the windows inside the model and giving an interference. So all that's going to get done tomorrow. We're going to move on with more work on the secondary hull. It's just gotten way too hot out here in the shop today to work anymore. It's about 105 degrees outside right now, and it's about 90-something in here, so and very, very humid. So I'll be back again tomorrow, guys, with some more on this, and we'll get farther along on the secondary hull. But you can see it's really, really coming out nice, nice and clean, and I think you're really going to like it, John. I'm really happy it's going along perfectly so far. So uh, just before I close here, guys, I wanted to mention uh, James. If you're watching this video, uh, your wife uh, wrote me a really nice uh, message on my uh, YouTube account and asked me to say a shout-out to you, a nice happy birthday. And she says that you really enjoy watching the videos and you're building models yourself, so I'm really happy to hear that, James. And uh, have a nice birthday, and it's glad that you're, I'm glad to hear your wife supports you in your, in your model-building hobby. That's always a great thing, and maybe you can even... Uh, talk her into building some models herself that'd be really cool so anyway happy birthday again james and uh glad you like the channel so that's going to be a wrap for this one today guys like i said i'll be back tomorrow we'll have another update with this one and we'll get farther along so take care out there everybody and happy modeling guys we'll see you later